Hi guys, it's Matt here from Maxon UK and in this tutorial we are going to be looking at how to import Illustrator files into Cinema 4D to make them 3D. So to start with, let's have a look at our Illustrator file. So you have to set that up and export that in a certain way. So at the moment I have my Maxon logo here and it's all made up of individual lines and points which is exactly the way that you would need it to be so that's all really nice and set up for me here but what if you've got you know text that you've got um, put in that isn't set up yet so let's just put something in here there we go you know my Matt's awesome tutorials there so what if you've got some text there that hasn't yet been turned into you know lines in the same way that that has well you just need to convert it and that's really quick so you can just right click and create outlines and then that, that turns that from a text file sorry from sort of text vectors into individual um, letters and lines and things like that it means you can't go back and edit it with the text messenger uh, text box editor but at least you've got the stuff that you need and now we need to export it so to do that we go up to file and then save as and I'm just going to stick a copy on my desktop let's call it Matt's logo AI that's absolutely fine and click save now you can import EPS's into this and then you need to re-export them as an AI okay Cinema 4D doesn't seem to use EPS's anymore and then you need to go backwards compatible all the way down to version 8 okay and click that and then click OK saving this document in older format yes 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 click OK and that should save that onto our desktop and then so you can just minimize that and I've got my desktop file here and you can just drag go to Cinema 4D let go and it will ask do you want to you know import this what size is it and how big do you want the splines that's absolutely fine click OK and boom there we go we have our illustrator file straight into Cinema 4D and if you open that up we've got each of the individual letters there which is a little bit lengthy but uh, it means that you can edit and adjust anything if necessary okay well what about making them 3D well we simply open up our parent grab all of the individual elements right click and connect objects and delete and that creates one single path with all of these splines in it and then we go up to our extrude nerves hold down alt with your path selected click and there you go it automatically makes the extrude um, the parent of that path tool and we have our logo in 3D and I have my very own Maxon Matt's awesome tutorials logo ready to go you can then of course add textures and lights and all those sorts of things and you will end up with your own logo in 3D I hope that was a useful tutorial and I will catch you next time